Welcome to the Hughes Optioneering Weekly Workshop, where we scientifically engineer trades for greater profit potential. This is the disclaimer slide. You can pause to read it. We're going to move on. Today we're going to look at SYM, or Symbiotic Inc. SYM builds and operates automated warehouse systems for clients in the U.S. and Canada using artificial intelligence in the software. Here is the BarChart.com technical opinion rating for SIM. The BarChart rating is a 100% buy with the strongest short-term outlook on maintaining the current direction. Long-term indicators fully support a continuation of the trend. According to Prime Trade Select rules, a stock is in a bull trend on a monthly basis if the stock price is above the 10-period or 10-month simple moving average. The monthly, the monthly chart shows that SIM has been above the moving average line for over a year, so the monthly trend in SIM is up. Now we're going to look at the daily chart. A stock is in a bull trend on a daily basis. If the 50-period or 50-day exponential moving average is above the 100-day exponential moving average, the blue line is the 50-day EMA line, and the green line is the 100-day EMA line. The chart shows that the blue line is above the green line, so the daily trend in SYM is up. Next, we're going to look at a daily chart that displays the Keltner channel. As a rule, we don't want to buy calls if the stock price is above the upper Keltner channel line. Anywhere inside the Keltner channel or even below the Keltner channel is fine. SIM is below the upper Keltner channel line, so SIM is inside the buy zone. Since the trend is up, we want to buy a call. SIM has seven option chains to choose from. We're going to use the Jan 19 option chain. Right now, the January 19 options have 27 days to expiration. Here's most of the SIM option chain for Jan 19. SIM closed at 54.19 on Friday. That means any calls on the list from 15 to 52 and a half are in the money. Let's take a look at the profit potential for purchasing the SYM Jan 19 55 strike call, which is the closest strike to the current price of the stock. The bid ask spread for the 55 call is 380 to 410. We try to enter at the midpoint, so we use 395 as the buy price. Our call option calculator shows the profit potential for this call based on SIM price changes at option expiration from flat to a 12.5% increase in price. We can see that if the SIM stock price is flat at 54.19 at option expiration, the 55 call will lose 100% of its value. Ouch! This is an unacceptable risk. That kind of loss can wipe out a trading account in a hurry. We developed what we call the 1% rule to help us avoid this kind of risk. The 1% rule says to limit the time value portion of the option we buy to 1% of the stock price. That means the stock only has to move up 1% for the call option we purchase to break even and start profiting. Now let's take a look at buying the 50 strike call to see if it qualifies for the 1% rule. Here's the call option calculator picture for the 50 call. According to the 1% rule, we want the call to at least break even if the stock price is up 1%. The calculator picture shows that if the SIM stock price is up 1%, the 50 call will lose 26.6% of its value. We want that to be break even or better, so the 50 call does not meet our requirements. Let's see if the 42.5 call will work. The bid ask spread for the 42 and a half call is 1180 to 1250. We try to enter at the midpoint, so we use 1215 as the buy price. The 42.5 call works. If the SIM stock price is up 1%, the 42.5 call will, will make a 0.7% or $8 profit. That's better than break even, so the 42.5 call is the one we'll buy. The call option purchase calculator also shows that if the SIM stock price increases by 2.5%, the 42 and a half call will make a 7.4% or $89 profit. If the SIM stock price increases by 5%, the 
the 42 and a half call will make a an 18 and a half percent or $225 profit. If the SIM stock price increases by 7.5%, the 42.5 call will make a 29.7% or $360 profit. The 10% and 12.5% numbers are also displayed. You can see that the profits get better and better. And notice that if the SIM stock price does not make the expected move up and it remains flat at expiration, the 42.5 call would only lose minus 3.8% or minus $46 compared to the 100% or $395 loss for the 55 strike call that we looked at earlier. Now we want to review a call up and debit spread, a.k.a. a vertical call spread. For this spread, we want to buy to open the SIM January 19, 42.5 strike call and sell to open the SIM Jan 19, 52 and a half strike call, 52.5 strike call. We're going to base our entry prices on the midpoint between the bid and ask prices. That means we'll buy the 42.5 call for $12.15 and sell the 52.5 call for $5.05. $12.15 minus $5.05 equals $7.10. So the entry price or debit cost for the spread is $710. The call option spread analysis calculator picture shows that the spread will make a 40.8% or $290 profit. If the SIM stock price declines by 2.5%, remains flat, or increases in price when the options expire. If SIM is down 7.5% at expiration, the trade will make 7.4% or $53. Creating the debit spread will allow us to collect a $505 cash credit to our brokerage account for the sale of the 52.5 strike call. As we said on the previous slide, this reduces the cost of entering the spread to $710. $710. Here's a note regarding earnings reports. The next SYM earnings report is scheduled for February 19. Let's review the trades one more time. The first trade was a call purchase. It said Dubai to open the SIM Gen 19 30 strike call for 1215. We also reviewed the spread. The spread said Dubai to open the SIM Gen 19 42.5 strike call and sell to open the SIM Jan 19 52.5 strike call at a debit of 710. That's it for this week's Optionary Workshop. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again next week.